Hi, my name is George Bekmezian. I am a concerned citizen and I approve this message. Look at this headline. We've been seeing these headlines daily for months now. Number of coronavirus cases and the number of deaths. Wow, shocking, right? This is a new record. Why should we care about this number here? What is significant about the number of coronavirus cases? Think about this. What we were told from the very beginning is that we need to flatten the curve so that we wouldn't overwhelm our healthcare infrastructure. Of course, we had a month, month and a half of quarantines, and as a result, the virus had no opportunity to spread. Well, let's look at the numbers right from the coronavirusutah.gov site. And I'm going to focus on Utah in this short video, but I would hope that others would take the challenge or take the invitation to do the exact same thing in your own states. Go find this data and see what your state says. So this is just today. Uh, the date today is Friday, June 26th. I just loaded this page. And so it is as recent of information as we can get. And we can see here that, you know, the coronavirus uh, is using up more ICU and non-ICU, non so hospital beds over the past month than at the beginning of this period in this chart, which was June 10th. But let's put it in context, right? If the goal is to minimize the spread so that our healthcare infrastructure isn't strained, let's look at that. So here we see that the percentage of all non-ICU beds occupied in Utah is 52.4%. And down here, right below that, we see that percentage of all ICU beds occupied are 64.1%. Of course, those numbers might look high if there's no context. So I thought, let's do a little bit of digging and understand where these numbers historically sit. And so I did, and it's not easy to find these numbers, but I did some digging and here's what I found. This is a webpage that collects statistics and shares statistics, and you can go to this location yourself anytime you want. And we can see here that the occupancy rate of hospitals in the United States, dating all the way back to 1975, average, right? This, right? this is across the country for sure. But average, you can see here the lowest number that we've ever been to here as a country is 64.7% in 2013. So, okay, let's go back to Utah. We are at 64% ICU beds, 52.4% of all hospital beds, right? So now let's move on to another source. Here, this source uh, has, has a lot of good information. You can go guidingmetrics.com and... It actually, again, it has a lot of good data in here, top 10 things that hospitals should be tracking. But this metric, bed occupancy rate. So according to this site, the bed occupancy rate is uh, at, what well, here we see in December, normally 57%, um, September 63%, and, and so here we are in the June, July timeframe, 52, 55%. Again, Let's go back and look at where we're at. The all non-ICU beds, 52.4%. So we can be here, oh, we're, we're right there in the national average for this time of year, right? So that's, and again, here's their source here. Becker Hospital Review is the source uh, for this site. And we can see right here that annually 61, the number is 61%. So an annual average, 61% for hospital bed occupancy. All right, let's keep going. Let's go here. Here we are, CDC, right? Center of Disease Control or Center for Disease Control. And here they also have um, some statistics about hospital beds and occupancy rates. And I couldn't find anything by state again, but we can look here at these numbers and based on hospital size and as well as based on the type of hospital, is is how they track their numbers and we can see large hospitals right as soon as we get to hospitals with even under 50 beds their occupancy rate smaller because they're probably in rural areas but larger hospitals 
they are occupancy rates of 55% up to 73%. And so finally, let's look at one last thing, because again, since you might be saying, well, we're in Utah and you're comparing us to national averages, George, so that's not a fair comparison. Well, let's look over here, right over here. And um, this is ahd.com and their trends in healthcare, data trends, acute care and critical access hospital occupancy rate, variability by location. Location being the state. And let's, let's go down here and we can find Utah. So here is Utah right here, right there, right, Utah. And we can see this is in 2016 in Utah, the average urban um, hospital occupancy rate is 56.89%. And so almost 57%. Now, let's go back here and again, put this into context where our non-ICU beds occupied are 52.4%. Our ICU bed, 64%. We don't have the exact number of beds available for some reason that's not disclosed, but we can probably um, safely conclude that the average number that we're at right now is right around this 57% number. And one other interesting thing is the state website doesn't disclose, um, you know, it doesn't show this in a chart format so we can see the historical value of occupancy of ICU beds and ICU bed occupied. But right here, I happened to capture just this morning before the latest update. And, and we can see that, first of all, yesterday's um, total hospitalization was at 174, well, it was at 170. Today we have four, four new hospitalizations. But we can also see is there must have been uh, some other changes because yesterday we had 66.2% of ICU beds occupied, whereas today we're at 64.1% of ICU beds occupied. And we can see that our non-ICU bed occupancy rate went up by you know, almost half of a point. I just wanted to share this information because people are panicking and the panic still doesn't make any sense. Our hospital medical infrastructure utilization seems quite normal. And why, why we are focusing so much on the number of coronavirus cases, I'm not sure, but uh, first of all, we know that what sells headlines is fantastic numbers. So if this headline read something like, Utah's hospital occupancy rate is still about normal for this time of year. Um, nobody would be clicking on that link, right? And of course, without these kind of fantastic stories and headlines, we also wouldn't be able to have justification by our dictators, whether they be a county mayor in Utah or in Salt Lake County, Salt Lake City mayor or our governor, right? All these people who think that they know best that they want to control what we're doing. Look, if the numbers warrant the actions, then I would be open to that. But right now, there's nothing that I'm seeing that justifies the actions being taken. Because as the, these case counts are going up, what's happening is the vast majority of the people that clearly are getting uh, contracting the virus are not straining our healthcare system. Just uh, this past Sunday, there's a 20 year old in my neighborhood who contracted the illness and he had a, a fever for a couple hours, slept it off for a day, and the end result was that he's, he's doing fine. So yes, that's anecdotal, but these numbers, the data that I shared with you, it's not anecdotal. This is real and hope you appreciate and feel or understand that you're a little bit more informed now than maybe you were five minutes ago. If you found this video informative, I invite you to watch Dr. Ogden's video, which I recorded and posted on YouTube as well. It's very informative, discusses CDC's statistics and helps us interpret those numbers as well. In addition to answering a lot of other questions that many of us have regarding this virus. Thank you.